Hello, everyone. My name is John McJohnson, Jr. I am the host of Reform GGA, and this will hopefully be just a quick update video on a recent purchase. And that is this little beastie right here. This is a Sig Sauer P365XL. And you guys who follow the channel, who have followed the channel for a while, know that um, handguns don't really excite me. They're not my they're not what I go to for fun and enjoyment. They're not my recreational guns. It's usually rifles and those kinds of things, large format pistols that are usually my recreational guns. But conventional handguns, not something that I consider to be recreational. For me, they're very practical. And the reason why I got this is that I'm hoping it's going to be a practical replacement for uh, two other uh, handguns that I've been using for a while now. And that would be my CZP-10C right here. I've had that for a very long time, and it's been incredibly reliable. However, it is a little bit large. And then purchased more re recently, but still used quite a bit. Uh, this is my Hellcat OSP. And the optic that is on the SIG actually used to be on the, the Hellcat. And these two guns used to be my primary carry guns. The Hellcat was my summertime carry, and the CZP-10 is the wintertime carry. And what I'm hoping to do is to use this SIG uh, to replace both of them, basically. And the reason why I think it will work is that dimensionally, with appropriately sized magazines, it's basically going to be pretty close to the other. So in terms of the Hellcat, the Hellcat, if we... Get everything lined up here so that we can actually compare. Uh, you'll see that it is a little bit smaller in terms of the barrel than the SIG, uh, but the barrel is usually easier to con uh, conceal than the handle. Now the handle is uh, definitely shorter on the Hellcat, but when I carry it, I usually carry a 13 round magazine in it or the original 11 round magazine, but I use the pinky extension because otherwise it's not very comfortable to fire. So when I normally carry it, it's usually with something of this length in it. And with that, you can see that the grips are virtually the, the same size. It's just that the barrel on the SIG is just a little bit longer. But in terms of handle length, it's exactly the same. So in terms of being able to re uh, uh, replace the Hellcat, that shouldn't be a problem. Because like I said, the, the barrel dimension is usually pretty easy to conceal. And the handles with the appropriate size magazines in each one, virtually the same. This is a 12-rounder going into the SIG. I already put the 13-rounder into the Hellcat. And as you can see, they are virtually identical. So, yeah, should be able to replace the Hellcat relatively easily. And also in terms of ergonomics, I actually like the feel of the Hellcat in the hand a little bit better. But the trigger pull on the Hellcat is atrocious. Uh, this one has worn down a little bit since I first got it. It's now five and three quarter pounds. Uh, but it has this weird thing with it as you go through the, the pull. It actually stacks quite a bit at first. And then the stacking subsides. And then after the stack, stacking subsides, then you get the break. So what usually happens with this gun, especially with people that are new to it, is they usually wind up jerking the trigger on it uh, just because... Uh, the break points and the highest stack points are at two different positions, and there's not really a whole lot of difference between them in terms of position, but enough to still make you jerk the gun. So it's actually relatively difficult to be overly accurate with the Hellcat, just because uh, of how the trigger is. Like I said, it's got kind of a reverse stack situation. It stacks heavy at the beginning, and then it lightens up actually really quick, and then it breaks after it lightens, and that just results in a very jerky trigger. Uh, the P10C, on the other hand, has a much better trigger. It is four and three quarter pounds right now. And uh, the way that it works is that the point of highest stacking and uh, the point at which it breaks is basically the same. And the reset on it is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, there's the reset. You're still all the way back there. And the reset and then it breaks very cleanly 
Uh, so the, the P10 is much easier to handle. It's still a very crisp brake, which for me makes me just a little uh, jumpy. And so I still get just a little bit of jerkiness from it. Uh, but it is much better trigger than uh, the Hellcat is. Like I said, the Hellcat is going to be pretty easy to replace. Uh, the P10, on the other hand, not quite as much. Because like I said, the trigger on it is pretty good. The reset is pretty good. And of course, the the size makes it a lot easier to to handle. You can get a lot better grip on it. The grip texture is very aggressive. Some people don't like it, but I have not found it to be a problem for me, but other people would find it to be a problem for them, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, replacing this one in terms of winter carry is going to be a little bit of a, a problem just because it is a very nice gun, very functional gun with a pretty decent trigger on it. Um, and comfortable in the hand to me. Like I said, other people wouldn't like the uh, the texture on it, they would find it too aggressive, but for me, I find that just fine. Um, so yeah, replacing the Hellcat's going to be pretty easy. CZ P10, that's going to be a little bit more of an issue. Uh, to help it out, though, the uh, it should be noted that the SIG 365 XL, uh, they do make uh, larger magazines for it than this so that it could compete with the magazine from the P10C, this is a 15 rounder. It has a little base to extension. Um, I know that 365 XLs, there's at least 15 round magazines were available for it. So it would be going down a little bit, but not a ton for winter carry. Uh, but the thing that really makes it a great contender for the P10 is uh, the trigger. Uh, the trigger on this one definitely has more uptake and there is more movement before you get to the break point. Um, and it kind of has a little bit of a reverse stacking in that it actually kind of lightens up at the end. But it's long enough in getting to the end that you don't have the jerkiness problem that you do with the Hellcat. And it is overall a lighter trigger than the CZ P10. Like I said, my CZ P10 is pulling at about four and three quarter pounds. Uh, this brand new 365 XL is pulling at four and one quarter pounds. And with time, that will probably lighten up. It is a little bit gritty and stagey right now, but that will probably work down quite a bit with time. Um, so I would say overall that the trigger pull on the SIG is better than the CZ P10, um, and that would make it a decent contender in terms of a barrel performance. You know, how good your loads are going to work out of the gun depends a lot on barrel. And you can see that when I get the two guns lined up, uh, the barrel difference actually isn't all that super different. Uh, the SIG has a 3.7 inch barrel, at least that's what's usually used in the advertising materials, whereas the P10 has like a 4.01. So yeah, theoretically talking about, you know, about a third of an inch difference, not really going to be a huge difference in performance. Now, of course, the P10 is going to have a larger handle, um, and you would expect that with full-size guns, and it's definitely a more hand-filling type of handle. The, the SIG is a very really thin handle. You could get uh, an expanding grip on there if you wanted to, but for concealed purpose uh, carriers, I would leave it as thin as possible to make it that much more concealable, uh, less likely to print. Um, but yeah, in theory, it should be able to replace both of these. Um, which will probably mean I'll wind up selling the Hellcat. There's a a shop in town that usually does a pretty good job uh, with that. So yeah, the Hellcat will probably be sold. I'm not sure about the P10, uh, just because I've had it for so long and it kind of has some uh, nostalgia uh, for it. And like I said, it's been very reliable and it does have a good trigger. It's just, you know, obviously not going to be a good summertime carry. And if I could replace two guns with one, well, why not? And especially if I can get the cost back from the two to make up for the cost of the one, then, the, you know, that kind of makes some decent sense. So anyways, that's where I am with that. Um, I might do another video on this in the future after I have shot it. Uh, but right now, I'm just telling you about the replacement and what it is replacing. Thank you all very much for your time and attention. For those of you who are in Christ, go with God and be blessed. For those of you who are not, I pray that you would come to know him, the only true Christ of history the only genuine savior, savior and Lord. Amen.